My name is Kelly Bauman, and I'm sharing with you my original research on disparities in cervical cancer screening between lesbian, gay, and bisexual versus heterosexual cisgender women in Chicago. The goal of this project was to describe the prevalence of up-to-date cervical cancer screening in these two populations and identify any possible reasons for differences in screening prevalence. We used the Healthy Chicago Survey for our analysis. Cisgender women aged 25 to 64 with no history of hysterectomy were included, and those who reported having a pap test within the past three years were considered up to date. We acknowledge this as a limitation of the survey, since most people with cervixes over the age of 30 commonly receive co-testing every five years. In our analysis, only 71% of lesbian, gay, and bisexual cisgender women were up to date, compared to 77% of heterosexual cisgender women. We also explored the influence of covariates like income level, race and ethnicity, insurance status, and the effect of having a primary care provider. Having a primary care provider was strongly associated with up-to-date screening on its own, but also showed significant interaction on the additive skill. Among lesbian, gay, and bisexual cisgender women, those with a primary care provider had 93% greater prevalence of up-to-date screening compared to those without one. Among heterosexual cisgender women, having a primary care provider resulted in 47% greater prevalence of up-to-date screening. So having a primary care provider is really important, but it almost doubles screening prevalence for lesbian, gay, and bisexual cisgender women. In conclusion, we know there exists a disparity, and we also know that there is something important about the role of primary care providers in facilitating up-to-date screening, especially for lesbian, gay, and bisexual individuals. Our health system and subsequent research have a responsibility to explore ways to establish and maintain longitudinal relationships between lesbian, gay, and bisexual patients and their providers to address disparities in screening.